Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the uh, November 1st through the 14th. So we're going to see what comes up. So the first two weeks of November for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to start right here. What do we have for Virgo? For the first two weeks of November. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So you may be feeling vulnerable during this time. And I think that fear is probably setting in. So, uh, apparently, you're not supposed to let fear hold you back. Don't let fear hold you back. So, that's a good message right there. So, let's see. Let's see. we got for Virgo it's okay to be vulnerable we're all vulnerable it's it's, it's those times of vulnerability that we uh, build our character right we gain strength Ooh, far away places get ready for new horizons Get ready for new horizons, Virgo. You're probably going to be going somewhere. Um, looks really, really, really good. We're going to go ahead and read that one because it seems to be the theme. I can hold it up there without shaking. Stop playing it safe. <laughs> Get ready for new horizons and change in your life. A journey is coming. It might be to foreign lands or faraway places, or it may be an inner shift that changes your destiny. It's all beneficial. Sometimes we can feel wobbled when we are not in our normal surroundings. However, you are safe and protected. Good fortune ensues. Thank the Lord. You are safe and protected. So, apparently you're being called to, to not play it safe, okay? Don't play it safe this week. Do it. Take a risk. Take a risk. If I can get that thing to stand up, we'll be doing good. Um, I think you're in a very vulnerable space. You're wanting to play it safe, but these guides are saying, you know, trust. Have faith, okay? Get ready for new horizons. If you can find your strength and your courage to do Whatever it is that you are in the midst of doing, you will prevail, okay? You just have to do it, and you have to have faith, all right? So, some of you are going to be traveling. You're going to be traveling. You may be moving. Maybe you're moving to a new country, a new state, a new place. Whatever is happening, it is meant to be. Um, get ready for a new life, okay? This is a whole new life for you, a bit the beginning, the very beginning, just seems really, really beautiful. Get ready. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. You are protected. Um, Page of Cups reversed. Now this is uh, a bubble being burst or rejection. Could be fear of rejection. Seeing clearly. This is clarity. Seeing clearly what you need to do. The Page of Cups reversed, though, is uh, shattered dreams. I don't know, a rejection, tears, infatuation of some sort. Um, unrequited love. So I'm not sure how that resonates with you, but there could be an unrequited love situation. Seeing clearly that you have a better option. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe you see clearly that you have a better option someplace else. 
Maybe there's some sort of rejection here that is opening your eyes or you are, have opened your eyes. The star card reversed. Now that is depression. It's fear. Fear is taken over. You're very, 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 very fearful of something with the star reverse. It's no faith. Okay? Um, your faith is definitely being tested. Your faith is going to be tested during these two weeks. Um, this has become clear. You know, be, make a choice. Stick with it. That's your choice. Stop. Now, this is lack of intuition. You know, you, you just don't know, right? Sometimes you're not meant to know. Okay, um, oh my God, two of cups reverse, Some, that's a separation, it's a detachment, it's disharmony and disconnection and imbalance. Unhappy couple, we have an unhappy couple here, unhappy relationship, okay, it's all there is to it. I don't know if there's going to be a breakup or a separation, maybe it's already happened, I don't know. But this is a separation, it's a rejection of some sort with the page of cups reversed and the two of cups reversed. It's like, no, I have a better option. I know that I have a better option. And maybe you're making that choice this week. This is why. Why now? Why are you coming back now? So if somebody is, or why do you got to make this decision now? There's always a reason. Okay, this is a card of purpose. There's consequences for uh, not taking action when they were supposed to or whatever the case is. There could be some some consequences here. But anyway, this is why. Why now? Why is this happening? It's all happening for a reason. Maybe you're no longer in love with somebody. I don't know what the case That's what it looks like to me. Anyhow, um, strength, courage. You're going to need to have strength. You are. You've done a lot of healing. I feel like as though you have somebody that... Uh, may have not chosen you that is coming back around. I don't know. I don't know. That's probably not my case. But for some of you that may be, you know, uh, wanting another chance or something like that. And I think for some of you, you may need to have strength and courage and uh, determination to restrain yourself. For others of you, you may be feeling very, very emotional. If this isn't about a love connection, you may be feeling emotional, overly emotional, scared, fearful about a decision, a choice that you're making. You need to you need to believe in yourself. You need to have courage. Okay, don't let fear hinder your uh, opportunities. Okay, you have an opportunity here that could make you very happy, but you're gonna have to let go of fear. Um, strength is big this week. Inner strength. Okay. Uh, believe in yourself. Um, I think you're going to need to master your emotions. I feel like you're going to be emotional. You're going to have a hard time controlling your emotions. But you're going to control them. But I think it's going to be a little rough. Okay? Brave. You need to be brave. You're going you're gonna to need to be brave this in the next two weeks. Um, you're going to need to have a lot of courage. Two of cups reverse. That's a separation though. <laughs> that is. That's a detachment from a partner. Um, a breakup. Separation. Divorce. Ending a partnership. A losing a friendship. Something like. Could be bullying as well. Ah, overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Carrying a heavy weight. Um, separating, separating from something that is burdensome. This is separation, breaking up, breaking free from something that has been holding you down. You're going to need to find the strength and the courage to continue down that path. You need to let something go. It's an unrequited love situation, whatever that love is, something you have been partnered up with. You've been, you've been, you've been, uh, in love with this for a while by the looks of things whatever it is um this is coming out of confusion making a choice sticking to it uh overwhelmed you are definitely overwhelmed trying to do too much carrying a lot on your back carrying this this heavy weight this heavy burden it's time to let it go it's time to drop it it's time to to, to just drop it drop this this partnership okay it's not going to be easy but you have the strength to do it now this is losing something losing i don't know maybe it's losing weight because that's weight it's this is a loss a big huge loss um a lost opportunity a miss opportunity it's unplanned okay and this is why is this happening why is this happening so i don't know if you're going to be experiencing an unplanned loss in these next two weeks 
I mean, I hate to say that, but that that could absolutely be the case. Um, this is letting something go. You are going to be letting something go. You may be even feeling depleted, you know, run down, okay? I'm just being honest with you. With the star reverse and the ten of wands, that's too much. This is too much. You may be feeling, you know, tired even. And a lot of you guys are going to watch this before the date and you're going to say, oh, it's me right now. What? The? You know, that really bothers me. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. You got? Do you not realize that this is for when it's... The, 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 for, I know that timing is fluid, but... These are predictions of what's to come. Yeah, you may be experiencing it now, but I believe you're going to be experiencing it then. It's just like, oh my God. People really don't get it. Anyhow, um, this is a huge loss of some sort. Loss of, well, this is, I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, but this Ten of Wands is too much responsibilities carrying too many responsibilities carrying too much weight carrying too much baggage letting it go you're going to be dropping something that has depleted you it has depleted you has depleted now that is detaching opening up Seeing things differently. Taking the mask off. Unblocking. You're going to be seeing something differently. Seeing life differently. Two of Swords reverse. That's unblocking your emotions. Unblocking your heart. Opening up. Seeing something differently. Waking up. Moving, moving, moving on. Moving to a better place. You're going to be moving. Maybe unplanned. I don't know if there's an unplanned move. Because this is unplanned. Unplanned opening. Unplanned opening of some sort. Moving. Moving to a better place. Moving. I don't know if you're moving somewhere. You're going someplace. You're traveling. There is travel here. Get ready for new horizons. You may be getting... You may be... Uh, no, this is healing. It is healing. Healing from a broken heart of some sort. That is broken heart. Interesting. Or healing from an unrequited love situation. And that doesn't I mean you could have broken somebody's heart. You know what I mean? If it's unrequited love, you still got to heal from that shit. You know, you do. You got to heal from your part in it. Anyhow, um, Six of Swords is moving. Leaving it all behind. You are leaving something behind. We're going to a headed to a better place. I think there's some sort of overwhelming stress here. You have been overwhelmingly stressed out. But I feel it is. There's stress here. But I feel like your things are going to start to get better. This is harmony. It's balance. It's 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 uh, headed towards a better place. Headed towards harmony and peace and balance. Um, new vision. King of Wands is is uh, somebody that is very strong, very protective, very noble, decisive, intelligent, creative. This person is very skilled. We have somebody that is in a very skilled position that is taking charge. This person is uh, taking the lead. This is a somebody that is in a, in a very uh, authoritative position that is uh, 
taking action. You don't have anything to worry about. There is somebody here that may be helping you. This person may be helping you, guiding you. Um, very, very intelligent. I think that you have somebody here that... Uh, is going to be helping you to release something. This is release, let go. Somebody's going to be helping you to let go, maybe helping you to heal. Um, this is like a fatherly type of figure. Um, doesn't have to be a father, boss, um, somebody in a position of power. We have a very strong, intelligent, noble individual who is taking action. And that could be you. This is somebody that is um, oh, it looks like he is looking. He is looking. He is looking at something. He's getting ready to do something. This guy is getting ready to do something to help you. I want to say help you so much. Whoever this person is, this person is, is wants to help you. Um, or has the ability to help you. This loss though, this loss, I don't know who this, because this is an unplanned loss. And I don't know who this, this loss is, but um, I don't know. Could be a loss of weight, but I just said, I mean, I don't know if this is a, well, I don't know who it is, but um, why is this happening? Why right now? So I don't know who it is, but this could be a husband, could be a, 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 a family member, could be a boss, could be a father, could be um, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, a friend. This is an unplanned loss. It could be, but it feels like this person has this desire to let go, which is interesting. And when I say unplanned loss, this person may just be leaving good partnership. This person could just be leaving, you know, they're they're going someplace. Somebody's leaving, whether it's you or them. This is having a desire to go in another direction. So somebody does have this desire. They but it's unplanned. It's un, it's like all of a sudden. It is definitely it's all of a sudden. Um you are going to be detaching. You are. You're going to be detaching from somebody. Um, this detaching is going to allow you to move. It, it, to move forward, whatever that means to you, okay? You're going to be moving, moving to a better place. And that's very clear that you are. Uh, you may be feeling vulnerable. You may be shedding some tears this week I, or these two weeks. I do think there's going to be some tears shed with that page of cups reversed. You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to have courage and you're going to need to be brave. Um, we have somebody here that is, is overwhelmed and they may be sick. Ace of Swords. Now this is a new idea, a new approach. Communication, a wake-up call. Um, this is the sword that cuts. The sword of truth. This is an awakening. It's a sword of power. And it's, like, it's, given, it's given to you. It's like God is giving you the power This is a new truth, okay, a new fact. Something is going there. You're going to get some sort of information in these two weeks that oh, it pushes you forward ultimately. It does ultimately pushes you forward. It helps you to see the truth of a situation. It opens your eyes. This is a major awakening. Put it that way. This is an awakening. You haven't been able to see something clearly. You are de you are definitely going to see something completely. Maybe it's life. Maybe it's life. You may see life come through different eyes, right? Through a different lens. Um, but that star card reverse a test of your faith. Your faith is definitely going to be tested. Um, your faith in a higher power, your faith in, in divine protection, 
All right. I do feel like you are protection because the card said so. Divinely protected because the card said so. But I feel like you're you have a lot of fear here. Overwhelming fear. It is overwhelming fear. Um, but you're gonna you are going now. This is the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. A new truth. This is the raw truth. You're going to be getting some sort of truthful communication from somebody. But this communication is about, well, I have to tell you, it's about loss because of that Ace of Pentacles right there. That Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's about letting something go. Whatever information you get is going to allow you to let go of something that has been weighing you down. It has been burdensome to you. It has held you back. And you've been carrying this burden on your back for a long time. So whatever the heck this is, you are going to be letting it go this week. You're going to be dropping it. Okay? And it's going to really open your eyes. Okay, your eyes are going to be open to a different reality because this is about your, re yeah, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Six of swords, going to a better place, leaving the trouble behind. Somebody's going to a better place. Vulnerability, this is the confirmation that you're seeking to tread into unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. Allow your vulnerability to be. Follow your intuition. Do not let fear hold you back from happiness. This is an opportunity for a new beginning. A new truth. This is a spiritual awakening. It is. For a better life. When you get to the other side, there's peace, there's harmony, there's serenity, there's freedom. But I feel like you're, this is a week of finding your strength and your courage and your confidence and your ability to be brave, to step into that unknown territory and trust and have faith that you are protected. So good luck.